what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video on the channel inside of today's video we're going to be doing a complete guide for the masses challenge which is in the game in like six hours time uh nine wins i believe there are three maps and they're all brawlable maps so i'll be giving you guys the best tips the best builds for every single brawler and so forth so uh yeah let me know down in the comment section below how you get on with this once the challenge gets uh on the way so before we get into today's video make sure you're using a credit code in the shop that'd be greatly appreciated and without further ado let's jump into the guide all right guys so jumping into the first map of this challenge it's going to be super stadium so super stadium anyways even before gears was quite a tank heavy map with poco and tanks just being really really strong on this map but now with gears especially inside of brubal and on grassy maps tanks are just running the meta it's just so hard to escape tanks uh, right now the speed gear is just so so broken so make sure using those poco double tank combinations so i thought that frank was probably the best tank uh well in the game right now especially considering the gears and whatever else and i feel like daryl right now is in a really good spot so, so in terms of star powers for him uh, i've been experimenting with both i feel like steel hoops is just a little bit better because it pairs a lot better with poco's heal uh, but both are very very strong but uh with this one you can change it out with tanks if you don't feel comfortable on daryl or frank of course if you've seen a lot of other tanks in the game and then Primo might be a good option he just recently got buffed i don't know if that's good enough to put him into the meta uh, but obviously he's a tank counter and a tank himself so he's probably one of the better ones if you're looking to try and counter comp someone uh the next other options you've got the likes of buzz buzz gonna be really strong on this map especially if you see extended stun you're gonna be doing really well with him and then rosa rosa just on grassy maps right now and everywhere right now is just pretty broken especially without speed it's so hard to escape rosa if you use her slow if you use her speed gear it's just gonna be really uh, hard to escape okay guys so now moving on to the kind of tank counters so if you don't want to use poco double tank i highly recommend using it because it'll pretty much be most tank counters anyways especially on a map like super stadium but if you're not feeling comfortable of course with these games you want to just use brawlers that are most you're most comfortable with uh, but i'll be giving you guys a bunch of options so poco double tank one of the strongest ones and now moving on to this one so uh, you've got three mids in my opinion which you should be using uh, b is going to be the strongest tank counter in my opinion especially with its speed and just the ability just to be able to slow a bunch of brawlers give them that 3k shot it's just really really strong so b is probably going to be the best mid if you're not feeling like b is your best mid brawler and then bell and gene are going to be good options gene is just really good in brawl right now especially with speed he's going to be an okay tank counter especially if you com uh, combine that with other brawlers next to you when you pull them uh, but now moving on to lane brawlers so if you guys watch any competitive right now or just played any power league Ems and Sandy with a speed gear are just absolutely insane. Just so, so good. It's so hard to evade both of these. There's not many counters to these in the game right now, literally because of his speed gear. It's just so, so strong, guys. Even with Sandy getting a super nerf, I feel like he's still insanely strong. That speed gear just enables him to win so many 1v1 matchups. So Sandy M's going to be the preferred lanes for me if you don't want to run those tanks of course you can even run hybrids maybe you can just use like a dial in the combination or just a frank on its own there the two brawlers i'll probably run it on its own in combination with these or you can even use like a primo with the wall break gadget with a b that could be another decent option as well but in terms of other lanes if you're not feeling like sandy and ems are brawlers well like sandy's a legendary might not have sandy uh but ems ems is a comfortable brawler a lot of people just like using her anyways but if you don't want to use those brawlers you got brawlers like tara surge and spike as well uh, obviously be aware that these guys will be a little bit harder to win lane against like tanks and other brawlers but they're decent alternatives as well okay so now moving on to gears i nearly forgot to actually discuss this you know it's still a new thing in the game but in terms of best build for all brawlers i feel like the speed and shield gear should be the optimal choice other than tanks for tanks i would use the damage gear but basically use speed on every single brawler and then just switch between the shield and the damage gear all right guys so now moving on to set number two we've got center stage so center stage is even better for tanks so as you can see on the screen the best combination of by far in my opinion is going to be rosa frank and poco rosa with a slow gadget rosa with his speed is just insane one of the best brawlers in the game right now rosa on grassy maps because of her ability just to uh, obviously connect onto enemies and then it's just really hard to kill her once she gets that super as well so that's going to be the number one combination of course with poco number tank again you can switch out for me i'll definitely recommend keeping rosa every single time she's just so so strong uh with a poco behind her but you can switch out the frank for brawlers again like primo Buzz and Daryl. Daryl going to be really good in Brubble right now, so you can definitely try him. And he's also a good counter to Bruce like Frank. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the best of Poco Double Tank. Come on, let's jump into the other comps. 
Okay, so now moving into the different combinations you could be using if you don't want to use the poker or double tank synergy. Uh, I feel like Jean is probably the best mid on this map. There's just so much grass and Jean really thrives with that speed. He's able to get easy pulls, uh, especially from max distance. It's just insane how good Jean is on Brubble right now, especially in the grassy map. So Jean going to be the best one. He's really good at scouting as well. And again, his pull will change the game a lot of the times. As long as you're kind of looking at the brawler that you're pulling, you're not making a stupid decision with your pulls. You've got to do it wisely. And especially if you've got like a Tara next year or like a brother that has that high DPS, even like Shelly been seen in Brubble right now on grassy maps. Uh, uh, you could obviously use the Gene and Shelly combination could be really good. So again, the best uh, mid alternatives other than Poco is going to be Gene. If you don't want to be using Gene, you've got brawlers like uh, B as well. Lola could be a good option as well. I know she recently got nerfed, but I still think she's a pretty strong brawler. She's got really good scouting capabilities and still does a lot of damage. So in terms of lanes, uh, you've got the likes of even like Frank and Rosa on their own. I feel like you don't even have to use Poco with them. I do obviously advise probably using a Poco or a Healer with them but honestly you could even just use a frank or rosa on their own and you could like double push in lane with like a sandy or a tara behind them or like an ems so the same old brawlers again for the lanes you've got ems you've got sandy you've got tara and on this map as well rico rico with a speed is going to be very very strong spike can be pretty decent at scouting the only problem with spike is that he's got a slow reload speed and also he's quite squishy so if you get caught out once with spike which you're probably going to get caught out quite a few times on this map because literally of the speed gear uh, you know one second they're on the right side of the map and then literally two seconds later they're in your face on the left side of the map that's how fast things go here so that's going to be a center stage let's hop into the next one all right guys so now jumping into set number three we have field goal and if you've not guessed it by now a poker double tank is going to be the strongest combination again so for me i do recommend using the daryl and the frank and the poco they're probably going to be best daryl can make really good use of opportunities uh, with his role can make really good goal scoring opportunities frank again with his super going to be pretty dominant especially with the gears as well and yeah just any single uh, poco with any tanks really is going to be super super strong so of course you've got to then bear in mind that a lot of people are going to know that tanks are good you know if they're watching these type of videos so you could come up with some dirty tank counters yourself if you just keep facing tanks all the time again if you're looking to make like a, a tank counter but still have tanks yourself primo is going to be the best option right there but yeah tanks gonna just be running rob right now uh let's move into the other tank counters all right guys and lastly moving into the brawlers which should be picking without the poker double tank strategy again it is b sandy and ems it's just a really solid combination together you've got ems and b to tank uh, to counter the tanks and then you've just got sandy even with uh, the nerf i still feel like it's going to be one of the strongest lanes all you got to do is make good use of his super as long as you don't waste one of his supers you're going to be able to cycle pretty well so yeah they're going to be the best lanes again again you can opt for like one tank down the lane maybe like a daryl he's pretty flexible or even like a frank on its own if you have like a frank and a b combined together you're going to open up the map and just allow b to dominate even more so again just pick your comfy brawlers uh nine wins shouldn't be too hard uh, so we've got a bunch of different options literally all the lanes are going to be the best uh, throughout the whole video you know like you've got the m's you got the sandy you got the spike you got the tara they're going to be like the four main brawlers for me to use down the lane and then like a gene will be in the middle if you're not that comfy so literally again uh just got to repeat the gears to use and uh, you've got uh, shield and speed for every single brawler except for tanks and then for tanks you want to be using a bit of damage and speed all right guys it's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one let me know down in the comment section below as i said after this challenge is out how you did i feel like this would be a pretty easy one poker double tank not really the hardest combination to use but as long as you got a team together as long as you're using some of your comfy picks you should be doing pretty decent but tomorrow's video we will be doing a top six brawlers on duels really fun game mode playing a lot of it right now it's one of the most fun game modes that i've played uh, ever really in Brawl Stars are having so much fun with it but yeah that's going to be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time